Hi, it's John here from GPS Training. What we're going to do in this short video is try and debunk and think about the Garmin GPS watch range that we have currently. It's a big subject in its own right, so I thought in this short video we'll try and just look at some of the key features and the main differences between each of the watches and what we should really be looking at before we buy a outdoor GPS watch. There's really two lines that Garmin run, which is the Instinct range, and then we've got the Phoenix range. Instinct range is less than half the price of what we find in the Phoenix. So Instinct kind of coming in around £250. Yeah, I know prices vary a little bit. £250 for the Instinct um, GPS watch. It's got a black and white screen on it, and it has a rubberized strap on it. And you can see it's just... It's just a, a nice compact GPS watch. We've still got heart rate on there, we've still got all the key things, and it is a still a navigation aid, but 250 pounds is really good value for me. We're saying quite a lot of them. It comes in what four quite funky colours. So kind of a plastic, um, a, a rubberized uh, material is done with. The positive thing about it, because it's just got this black and white screen, or this monochrome screen as they call it, and um, we've got fantastic battery life on there, and it's quite small as well. So I know a lot of people who've got smaller wrists have really liked that um, into it. And it's also a smartwatch, so it pairs with your mobile phone, you get your smart notifications on it, and this kind of thing. So a lot of people who've got handheld units have been buying the Instinct Office as their introduction into the world of, of GPS watches. It measures your steps, it's that smartwatch, it, it, um, it will navigate you around a route, or in the in the, uh, the world of watches we call that a course, so you can transfer a GPX file onto it, and it would take you for that walk. I say great battery life on it, and it measures your stress levels, and all sorts of different things it measures your sleep levels floors climbed distance traveled has that move bar so if you sit down for too long it encourage you to get up and um, and move around again no mapping on it um, like we find on the Phoenix range, so it's just on the map page, just a blank screen. For £250, really nice, great value GP, uh, GPS watch from Garmin. So that's the Instinct range. Let's move the Instinct out of the way, and then we'll jump onto the Phoenix range. So, the Phoenix 6 is the current GPS uh, watch um, from Garmin, and it's their premium brand compared to what we've seen with the Instinct. Now, key things you need to consider is price your budget because these watches start from mid 500 pounds and go up to 800 pound uh, plus so budget is a key thing to disc uh, thing the more the more you spend these are the features that are kind of being added on to it so we're getting a better quality of material so we're getting a better uh, a diamond uh, like uh, body on it we're getting um what we call sapphire screens on it which are better screens on it and now we've also got some solar charging coming into some of the top end watches so our base range in the Phoenix world is the Phoenix Pro range, Phoenix 6 Pro and 6S Pro. S is the slimmer version. You see the S version comes in uh, ladies' colours as well as men's colours. So if you have got a small wrist or it's for a lady, the Phoenix 6S is certainly worth considering. So even though the Pro is classed as the, 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 the lower end of the uh, of that of that, that market, it's still got a Gorilla Glass. And that's the key thing is that with the Gorilla Glass, it's the same as we found on the handheld GPS unit, very, very good screens. A lot better than what we'd find on earlier Phoenix watches. So actually, the Gorilla Glass on these is not far as, as, as hard as, as what we're finding on the uh, Sapphire thing. Other thing as well is the quality of the body, which we talked about. So these would be stainless steel bodies, but when we move up to the sapphire and the more expensive products, we're looking at what's called diamond-like carbon, um, which is very hardy and won't get damaged at all. So you've got to think about the activities that you're doing. If you're just doing a bit of walking and you're just um, some quite casual at walking, the, the Pro would be fantastic for you. If you're looking at doing some scrambling, some rock climbing, those kind of activities, you may want to consider a better quality body and also a better quality screen that we find on the Sapphire versions of it. So the key thing is the body, um, initially you gotta have stainless steel on the six versions, or we can move up to the uh, the DLC, as we call it, diamond-like carbon on the more, um, the more expensive ones. We've talked about the screen quality, so glass, on the six pros, and then we have the sapphire screen. So the sapphire screen is chemically bonded and it's truly stunning. It's very hard to scratch or break. But now on all units, even the pro, we've now got the gorilla glass, which is good and very strong glass in its own right. The only one that has 
the premium version that has the Gorilla Glass is the is the Pro Solar because this has solar technology built in which will charge your watch when it's on your wrist and we can't put a sapphire screen on it but they put a Gorilla Glass on it. So that's the only premium one which has a Gorilla Glass screen and all the other premium uh, models have the sapphire screen on it. All these GP, uh, or GPS watches now will work off the American, um, the American um, satellites and also the Russian satellites and also the Galileo which is the European satellite so they're all as accurate to each other they, there's no difference in the accuracy uh, of each of those GPS units. They're all compatible with your smart um, smartphone so what you know you got they turn into a smart watch so you get your smart notifications on there they can play music on on these things you can if you've got Spotify you can load these things with Spotify you pair them with your mobile phone and you can sync your activities uh, with what's called Garmin Connect which is the app that runs next to it as well as navigational devices, which is the key thing that they're for, they are, I keep saying this, is a smartwatch. So they measure the number of steps that you do each day. They have these move bars, so periods of inactivity that encourage you to get up and get moving. It monitors your sleep. So it measures the three types of sleep, which is deep sleep, light sleep, and REM, the rapid eye movement is when you're dreaming. So it measures your sleep. It measures your calories burned and also the floors that you've climbed. It also measures the distance that you've traveled and lots, lots more. All these also come with what's called heart rate monitors. The heart rate monitors are built into the back of the Rich. If I just take my Phoenix watch off and put it in there, there's a heart rate monitor on the back of my Phoenix watch on there and that measures it on it. You can also see the charging port as well on the back of that watch there. So we measure your heart rate and that will be incorporated into any activity as well. So if you're, if you're recording your activity, whether, whether it's a, a sport you know, in a gym or whether you're canoeing or whatever or walking, um, you measure your heart rate and overlay that on what we would call the GPX file in the outdoor world. So we've got, um, the, um, we've got the heart rate monitor. And all these now in the Phoenix 6 range also measures your oxygen levels on, on, uh, in, your, in your blood as well. So they measure that on the wrist the measure your oxygen levels um, which is great if you're doing something like mountain climbing or very high altitude that's something you might want to uh, consider but again with the, this Phoenix uh, range you get that with it all these come with what's called topoactive mapping topoactive mapping is Garmin's digital map set it is so topoactive mapping we've sometimes seen on the outdoor units the 750T the Oregon 750T and the 66ST is the topoactive mapping it's really nice because it's actually a digital map so as you zoom in you get more information as you zoom out you get less information so it's a really nice I think key thing with topo active though is it doesn't show you right away it just shows it's a path it doesn't tell you if it's a footpath or a bridle way so often if you're planning a route or a course as we call it on a watch it's often best to plan that on some um, ordnance survey mapping so you know you're in the right place then overlay it on the topo active mapping other things to consider is battery life because uh, again you power these just charge them up and the last version. Now all the Phoenix 6 range are quite clever because they have different battery settings so what you can do is turn off aspects of those of, of the watch and it will increase that battery life. Other things that increase the battery life is a bigger watch straightforward as that so the 6S a slightly smaller watch will have less uh, good battery life than what we find on the Phoenix 6. So the S1 will have slightly less battery life as well but then we have the 6X which is a bigger bodied um, GPS watch and therefore we can get increased battery life on there and then we've all got the 6s pro solar and again this has got a it's a larger body so we've got, we've got better battery life anyway but then we've got a solar panel on the screen the solar panel on the screen will charge that uh, watch when you're out and about as well now it doesn't keep it so it's zero charge you still will need to charge it but it extends your battery life and what it actually does is it has a black ring around the edge which is a solar panel um, in its entirety then it has i think it's 10 percent to 20 percent of battery solar um, behind that screen as well so that's the key the key thing there so kind of an example of battery life is if you're using it as a smart watch and these are real rough figures so general I know it varies from unit from watch to watch but we're kind of talking 14 days if you're using it as a smart watch and when you're using it to navigate of course that comes down when you're logging on to the satellites that comes down to about 36 hours um, of it again that varies a little bit um, again they do have what we call expedition modes on them which instead of making that track every few seconds will scatter that track out and we can then um, kind of increase 
increase the um, the battery performance up to about 72 hours when you're using uh, the GPS as well. And again, we've got the X versions that we're talking about, which have slightly larger bodies and therefore have a larger battery in there. So. That's kind of an overview of the outdoor GPS uh, watch situation. So Phoenix 6 and 6S are the ones that have the stainless steel bodies and also the Gorilla Glass screens on them. If you want the premium, you've got the, the, the diamond-like carbon uh, bodies on the 6 and 6S. And we've also got the sapphire screens on them. So the better screens on there as well. And then we've got the 6X. 6S, we've got this a sapphire, which has the a sapphire screen and also also the better uh, body um, uh, on that and also with it being X it's got increased battery life because we've got that it's a light, slightly larger uh, watch and then for increased battery life and then we've got the 6X Pro Solar and again it's got um, a similar battery life now but now we've increased it because we're using that solar panel on it. that's the one that's a bit of an anomaly we keep talking about it's actually not got a sapphire screen on it even though it's a similar price we've actually got the same um, Gorilla Glass qualities just because it's got that solar panel in there uh, and hopefully that clarifies things. Don't worry, when you buy your GPS watch from ourselves at GPS Training, we're not just going to sell you that box and get on with it. There's loads and loads of training videos in our online resource, which is what you get free with um, any GPS watch you buy from ourselves at GPS Training. And as you see, we wear them on our wrists. All our staff have got them. We use them every day, both um, as just an everyday watch and also when we're out navigating in the hills. So if you have any questions, any queries, don't hesitate and just give us a call.